Ask Reddit by its tire. People who ride ridiculously loud motorcycles on purpose. Why? Only slightly related but back in the 1970, I think, my uncle from New Zealand used to ride bikes and all the neighbors were worried because one it was a loud bike but were happily surprised to see him walking the bike down the street before starting it and riding away. They all thought it was so he would not disturb them early in the morning. When in reality the bike would not start on its own and would need to be jump started and he needed to get some speed up before starting it. I had a neighbor who did push his motorcycle down the street to be courteous. It was months before I even realized he had a motorcycle and then only because I saw it in the driveway. I'm far more interested in hearing from people who accidentally ride ridiculously loud motorcycles. Their story should be a doozy. Recently bought a slip-on exhaust that had the nicest tone in all the videos, but didn't sound too loud. How wrong I was. Put it on the bike and it's fucking loud. I'm going to slap my stock exhaust back on next weekend. But yeah, I'm accidentally riding a ridiculously loud motorcycle at the moment. I used to serve behind the bar at a pub that was the local of a former British Superbikes champion. I asked him what it was that got him hooked on bikes and he said he'll never forget going to watch his first ever event and the sheer noise the bikes made as they went past. Interestingly enough, he also told me that he would have given up all the bikes and championships if he could have been a rockstar guitarist. I'll never forget that, because it taught me that you can be one of the most successful ever people in your field and still have a bit of sadness or longing for another life or roads not taken. Anyway, I wonder if there is some connection to how he loved music and how he was also hooked on the noise of the bikes. As the motorcyclist above said, some people just like the sound. Different strokes for different folks. Yeah, some people like two strokes. Some like four strokes. There's a South Park episode that addresses this question. My name is Butters and I'm bikes curious. Motorcycles are a bit like alcohol. It's fun to be drunk. It's not fun to be sober around drunks. My ears are ringing as loud or louder than the white noise of a fan. It is not fun to be drunk in that metaphor. It's the only way I can get around to look for my lost muffler. No kidding. One side did blow out the core of my performance muffler and had to drive home through the West Bay area cities with straight pipes. Got pulled over for it too, in Redwood City on El Camino Bignum. I showed the cop the muffler core strapped to the sissy bar and told him I'm just trying to get home. Man, he let me go, and I mail ordered a new muffler. I can answer this for my stepfather. He's just an asshole. His bike is so loud I could hear it over 10 miles away. I'd hear him start up at work and drive home. We lived on a hill and his work was on the far side of a lake. That was on the other side of a valley from our house. You could hear him the whole drive around the lake, into the valley, and out of it. He's just a fucking asshole tbh. Doesn't give a fuck about common decency. Edit, for those questioning the 10 miles, I should point out that because we were up on the hill there was effectively a clear line of sight to him the whole time. Sound travels a long ass way when there's nothing to get in its way. My wife's stepdad replaced his car horn with a train horn. He has an air compressor in the back seat for it. It is unbelievably loud, and he thinks it's hilarious. What? I started reading everyone's comment as if they were yelling, man. Edit, spacing. It really is just a this loud noise makes me happy thing. I hate loud vehicles of all kinds. But I've asked this question all my life and this was the only legitimate answer I've ever seen. People are allowed to like loud things, but... I wish they'd just wear headphones to blast their eardrums. Maybe the vibration between their legs. Get a seat vibrator and headphones lol. I wish I knew so I'd maybe have a reason to be empathetic to my neighbor that wakes my kids up at least 4 times a week revving up his super cool bike to take off at 20 miles per hour on a quiet residential street. 
I have a couple of neighbors that ride those little mini bikes. I'm talking 40 year old men riding tiny little motorcycles. Drives me crazy. Apparently one of them drove his 4 year old daughter around the neighborhood without a helmet. The cops put a stop to riding the mini bikes. Look at me. But I'm a goddamn half mile away in my house. I was into loud car audio, and I was an immature asshole. And I wish I could apologize. Worked half my life installing car audio. I like loud music, but some people go way over it. I remember this guy with 415's kickers and a rock for damp. That car would literally rise your hair it was crazy. I ride a motorcycle, but I keep the stock exhaust. Why do many riders change exhaust? They like the sound. That's it, really. Some may claim that loud pipes save lives, but that's bullshit. If they wanted to be noticed, they would instead invest in high-vis gear and aftermarket lighting. Not all motorcyclists are inconsiderate assholes. Basically there are some that just love the raw power and noise, but even then riding that around public and residential areas is totally inconsiderate of others. Then there are others that actively do want the loud sound as a fuck you to everyone else. Either way it's a bit trash. I say this as someone who has a personal interest in motorsport and motor vehicles. Same goes for idiots with unnecessarily loud shirty diesel 4WDS and extremely loud cars. Here in Thailand we call them van vans, and basically everyone hates them. It's one thing if you want a good muffler, but to just put on a new one that does nothing but make it fucktardedly loud, just makes you a cunt. Loud motorcycle guy is like a toddler that walks around banging pans together. So you're saying they're just like, 2 year old Bart here, https colon slash slash, yahtoo.be, slash ekyz2m6zoii close bracket question mark. That's just the baseball card in the spokes of my bicycle. Sorry. I live in a really quiet, rural area specifically because it's peaceful and spread out and I don't have to deal with people's shit. Years of sweet solitude, then a small subdivision goes in down the street. Fine, whatever. It's still quiet, right? Nah. Now I have the world's loudest voucher bag blasting past my house at least 6 times a day intentionally being obnoxious. Like fuck, I live 30 miles outside of town, no restaurants, nothing to do, no amenities, no shopping, it's a ton of work. But it's all worth it until someone brings the insufferable, loud bullshit to the people trying to escape it. Are there lots of winding roads in your area? If so then that's why, you've basically moved to a motorcyclist's playground. Half the reason to own one is to ride through areas with lots of corners and little traffic. Or that's what I've gathered from conversations with motorcyclists, don't own one myself. Helmets save more lives than loud pipes. Here is my reaction to loud pipes. Nothing, just driving normally on the highway. Motorcycle speeds past weaving through traffic I hear it loudly the second it's beside my window startling the shit out of me and I hear it as they go speeding in front of me. How the fuck is that supposed to save lives? They think everyone who looks at them is thinking that guy is cool rather than what a childish asshole. Deleted. Loud pipes save lives loudly speeds away with no helmet or gear. This sums it up. Oxymorons on bikes. Loud pipes do not save lives. Yelling because the people who need to hear this are deaf. Exactly. I really love when it's a super loud bike and he also has a radio on it blaring even louder because of course he has to have his jams while riding. It kind of mazes me that communities ban jack of braking for semis but the bikes and pickups that are much, much louder than engine braking are a-okay. Yes why? Like what a way to tell the whole neighborhood or some along that you are the biggest dickhead in the world to wake up as many of us as possible. 
from a NY Times article about efforts to curb noise in Paris. Imagine what a big loud motorcycle could do. The initiative follows a mounting intolerance by the French to street noises, particularly motorcycles and souped-up scooters. According to a study by Brut Perif, a state-backed center that monitors noise in the Paris area, a modified scooter crossing Paris at night can wake as many as 10,000 people. HTTPS colon slash slash www.nighttimes.com slash 2022 slash 02 slash 21 slash world slash Europe slash France dash street dash noise dot HTML question mark Wife of a biker 1. Loud pipes save lives mumbo jumbo, but more importantly 2 because he wants to hear the obnoxious bark when he rides because it makes him feel all tingly inside. Loud pipes save lives is just how people justify it. He just likes the noise for sure. When he buys a new bike I know just by the sound if he is interested in it or not. Does he buy a lot of bikes he's not interested in? Loud pipes save lives not really but sure, you know what actually saves quantifiable amounts of lives? Safety gear and not riding like a squid. So I ride a dual sport motorcycle with an aftermarket pipe. It's definitely louder than stock but not too crazy. The number one reason I installed it was for more performance. From factory my bike was super restricted, a free flowing pipe along with jets and intake mods have really made a difference. Number two I ride off road a lot in places with lots of bears, moose, Cougar etc. It makes me feel safer knowing they can hear me coming, and I definitely encounter them less since I installed it. Also, loud pipes don't save lives. That's some bullshit Harley guys say to justify deafening everyone. TBH I don't care if someone with a loud bike makes tons of noise just for themselves in an isolated area. Whatever. Do what makes you happy. But anyone flooring it through my residential neighborhood and rattling everyone's windows is a selfish, attention whore asshole, no exceptions. There are a couple surprisingly respectful guys in my neighborhood who ride by on low RPMs all the time until they get out on a major street. It is possible. They need the attention. They are assholes. Nobody likes listening to your loud piece of shit. It, people who don't ride motorcycles. I think I went through 30 something comments and not a single one was from a biker. I give up. Deleted.